good morning everyone so welcome to this course combinatorics in today's class we will see some problems which are related to combinatorics and then we will develop the course in the coming classes so this is the book which i mainly follow for this course but i may pick some material from the other books also so to begin with let's see a problem a mastermind game so what it says is that we need to find a secret code which must be of four packs so here packs are mentioned as white pack green pack yellow pack and so on so it should be four packs with repetition but the packs color should be either red white yellow green blue or black and then on the right hand side you can see that it has been mentioned b and w so what b represent b represent that uh, there is a pack in this row which is of the right color and it is at the right position at the same time w represents that there is a pack in the row or a color is the right color is there in the row but it is at the wrong position so it means that we have given some conditions while satisfying these conditions we need to identify the correct answer so please do spend some time in thinking over it and let's see how it can be addressed <clears throat> So if you see here, then we can start with three W. So three W means that three packs are there, which are of the correct color, but they are of the they are at the wrong position. For example, the combination can be two reds and one green, one red, one green, one yellow, and many other combination. But whatever combination you choose, you will see that there must be one red. So since in the final secret code there is one red I can start with this red and this red which corresponds to a B here and B here it means that in the secret code I can say that there is one red here assuming that there is only one red because if you try that there are two reds in the end you will see that there is some conflict so it means that there might be yellow and green in the secret code let's say that yellow is there so if yellow is there which is at the wrong position it means that i can choose this yellow which is at the correct position and one more B is gone here also there is a yellow so yellow is in the answer but we can say it is at the wrong position and therefore this is gone similarly if I take green so two of the W are gone which must be there in the secret code but at the wrong position it means there must be one green at the correct position so you can see there is only one remaining green so I can choose this one and I can say that this is go now I have to identify one more pack but before that I can see that this yellow is there green is there and red is there it means this red is at the wrong position so this w is gone then red is there but this red is at the wrong position so this w is also gone all of them are gone now at the fourth position if there is a white then i need to introduce one more b which is not there similarly the same thing applies for blue and for black and same for the yellow but you can see that if I introduce green here then there is no conflict because I have already said that the only colors which corresponds to B are yellow green and red now yellow cannot be there and red cannot be there 
because if you introduce red here then one b is required in the last row there is one red blue cannot be there white cannot be there and yellow cannot be there because again one more b is required so it means the only possibility is the green now you may argue that some of the position for example this position you can say that there is a red here then why not one more w here it's not here because w is for the correct color at the wrong position so correct color is green so there is no green in the fourth row so we do not say that the green is at the wrong position similarly we will see that no extra b or w would come if we choose the packs as yellow green red and green but if you try something else for example at the fourth position if you try blue then one more b is required and this blue may correspond to one more w so we need to satisfy all the condition in such a way that we do not require extra b's and w's and all must be satisfied so the answer is yellow green red and green so very interesting combinatorics problem where you can see that no prior knowledge is required so moving further this problem was introduced in britain in 1970s and got very popular in 1975 let's see one more interesting problem where a professor gave a test to four students and he wants them they should grade each other test which means they should check each other test but of course it does not make any sense if someone check its test itself so it means that no student should grade his or her own test so now the question is how many ways are possible so that the professor hand the test back to the student for grading so that no student received his or her own test back yes now first try to see that how many total possibilities are there so four students are there and four tests are there yes so test a can be given to any of the four students so four possibilities let's say you give it here then test b the remaining three possibilities are there similarly two and similarly one so total number of the possibilities are four factorial which you can simply write in the order for example a b c d a c b d a d b c and so on. so you can write down all 24 permutations out of 24 permutations you just need to neglect those cases where for example if a is coming at the first position if b is coming at the second c is coming at the third or d is coming at the fourth which means the test get has been given to the same student for example if i choose d c b a which means it has been given to D, then C, then B, then A. So none of them receive the same test. So this is the correct answer or the acceptable answer, but the other answers are not acceptable. So if you try all the permutations, 24 are possible, out of which those which are in blue, you can see that they are the acceptable solution. So this problem is known as the problem of D arrangement, which we will discuss in the later classes one more interesting problem it says that how many strings of a and b's of length n which must begin with a but it should not have a a now you can see that the length n n is not given so we need to find a generalized answer which is not clearly visible here but we can have few observation for example if only string length is 1 then it should be f of 1 is equal to a if a string length is 2 it should be a b it's starting with a and a a not allowed f3 should be a b a and a b b 
f4 should be a b a b a b b a a b b b so the interesting observation is f of 1 is 1 f of 2 is 1 f of 3 is 2 f of 4 is 3 this is just the observation we are not giving any mathematical explanation so you can see that from this observation f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 it means that we got the answer in the closed form why this answer is correct that we will discuss in the later classes right now we are not giving any explanation that why this is correct how we derive it we are just making an observation but assume that if it is correct then here we got the answer in the closed form which is known as the recurrence relation so this is one form of the answer in the previous question you have seen that we got exactly answer in terms of the numbers but here it is in the closed form and if you solve the recurrence relation then its answer is 1 by r 1 plus r by 2 raised to the power n and so on where r is root 5 but at the same time its answer can also be given in terms of the generating function all these terms reference relation generating function we will discuss in the later classes but what generating function does is that if you find the coefficient of x raised to the power n on the right hand side that gives you the value of fn so <clears throat> what is combinatorics there is an impression that combinatorics simply is about counting but we can say that counting is just one part of combinatorics combinatorics is mainly about combining things so there could be many counting problems one of the standard is how many ways the elements can be combined or which one is the best combination among all possible combinations and <clears throat> there may be many ways to answer the combinatorics problem one of the ways to answer in the closed form which comes in the form of the reference relation or generating function so that's all from today's class in the next class we will begin with the concept of addition and principle thank you